On our unit rate review, this is number three. Um, it says the table below shows the number of gallons of gasoline used and the miles driven for different types of cars. And we've got four types of cars, type A, B, C, and D. Um, and then in the chart, it tells us how many gallons of gas and how far that car could drive. And the question asks us which type of car had the highest number of miles per gallon. So miles per gallon, if we're looking at miles per gallon, you see that word per, how many miles for each gallon? How many miles for one gallon? We are looking for the unit rate. Now to do that, we've got to find the unit rate of all four of these cars. Okay, all four of these cars. So the easiest way to do that is since this is miles per gallon, we're gonna make a ratio of the number of miles to the number of gallons. The number of miles to the number of gallon, miles per gallon, miles per gallon. Okay, and that fraction bar means two to divide. Okay, so we're gonna do car type A. I'm gonna try to squeeze this all into this space here. We've got the number of miles car A drives is 106, and the number of gallons is five. So I've got 106 divided by five, Five will go into 10 two times. Two times five is 10. Subtract, we get zero. Bring down this six. Five will go into six one time. One times five is five. Subtract, I get one. And we don't leave remainders in, in middle school. We put a decimal and a zero, and then we're gonna push that decimal up. Now slide that zero down. Five will go into 10 two times. Five times two is 10 and we get zero. So car A, I'm gonna make a new column, can get 21 and two tenths miles per gallon. Miles per gallon, okay? Let's do car B. Car number B, car letter B. They're gonna go 204 miles with 10 gallons of gas. That's 204 divided by 10. 10 will go into 22 times. Two times 10 is 20. Let's try to get zero. Bring down the four. 10 won't go into four. It'll go zero times. So we gotta put a zero up here. Don't forget that. Zero times 10 is zero. Subtract and we get four. But we can't have a remainder. Add a decimal and a zero, push that decimal up, slide that zero down. 10 will go into 40 four times. Four times 10 is 40. Okay, so for car two, car B, it can go 20 and four tenths miles per gallon. All right, I think I'm gonna have to erase, okay, so that I can do the next two. All right, let's do car C. Car C, we've got 298 miles with 15 gallons of gas. So we're gonna divide 298 divided by 15. 15 won't go into 29. Oh no. Okay, so we only go one time. <laughs> I was thinking two times would be 30. It'll go one time. One times 15 is 15. Subtract. And we get four, 14. Nine minus five is four. Two minus one is one. All right, let's bring down the next digit, which is an eight. Ooh, 148. That's close to 150. I'm thinking if it was 15 times 10, it would be 150. I'm gonna test and see what 15 times nine is. Let me just see. Nine times five is 45. Nine times one is nine plus four is 13. That'd work. So nine times, that's gonna be 135 because I just multiplied it, subtract. Eight minus five is three. Four minus one is, I mean four minus three is one. Okay, we gotta do a decimal and a zero. Push that decimal up, slide that zero down. Oh 
goodness, 15 are going to 130. It won't go nine times, so I'm thinking it will go eight times. Let me multiply by eight and see what I get. Five times eight is 40. Okay, eight times one is one plus four is 12. So 120. So I'm gonna put an eight up here above the zero. Eight times 15 is 120. I just multiplied it and I get 10 as my remainder. Oh, gotta keep going. Just do one more zero. I think we're gonna stop after this one. 100. 15, let's see. I'm thinking that 15 times seven would be 105. So I'm thinking 15 times six. That's gonna be 30 and 90. Okay, so six times. And I'm gonna stop it there. I get another remainder of 10. But just round it, that's gonna be about 19.86 miles per gallon per car. See, yeah, we got one more car to go. Ooh, this is a long math problem. Let's look at car D. Car D has 392 to 20 gallons of gas. So 392 divided by 20. 20 going to 39. Oh, I want it to be a 40 right there, but it's not. Just one time. That's going to be a 20. 9 minus 0 is 9. 3 minus 2 is 1. Let's bring down the next digit. That's a 2. Oh, goodness. 20 will go into 192. I know 20 will go into 18 9 times. So I'm going to put a 9 up here. And then I'll go 10 times because that would be 200. Okay, 9 times 2 is 18, so it's going to be 180. Subtract. 2 minus 0 is 2. 9 minus 8 is 1. I list it as decimal. Slide the decimal up. Put a 0. Slide the 0 down. Oh, good. This one's going to end. 20 will go into 120. 2 goes into 12 six times. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 20 is 120. Subtract and I get 0. So this is going to be 19.6. So which one has the highest highest number of miles per gallon looks well, like car a because the highest number of miles per gallon is 21 and 2 tenths so car type a gets the i guess the worst no gets the best you want a car to get the most miles per gallon so car a car type a okay